Hi folks, it's Political Dead Duck. It's July the 30th, 2009. Um, this one is Israel war crimes. Look, Israel used dime bombs that blew the legs off the victims. It used uh, 155 millimeter shells that left a 900 foot kill radius when they were saying they had precision bombing, okay? Uh, the Prime Minister of Israel said he made 250,000 uh, automated telephone calls to residents that they were going to bomb. Told them to get out of their house and then they dropped a white phosphorus over their heads. Now the disbursement of the white phosphorus, which is an carcinogenic um, dust and, and fumes and everything else, and will burn right to the bone, uh, the white phosphorus will when it comes in contact with the human flesh. That's a serious war crime, okay? They use that over populated area. Gaza is been every single building has been pounded with the depleted uranium that Israel got from the United States. And interesting thing about that is Israel is the only country in the world that can actually buy directly from the manufacturer. Everybody else has to go through the government. Not a laughing matter, but Everybody else has to go to the government if they want to try to buy ammunition from Americans, but Israel can go right to the bomb manufacturer. Okay, so when they said we made 250,000 phone calls and told people to get out of their house, they dropped 155 millimeter shells down on top of them when they were outdoors with no shelter. They dropped white phosphorus bombs on them. They dropped dime bombs on them, which blew the legs off people. It was it, it, we never seen this bomb before. It was a concussion. They dropped cluster bombs. They used drones. They used F-16 fighter jets and Black Hawks, which are designed to fight heavy military armament against family cars and family homes. The Gazelles has AK-47s. The military is using these massive ordnance against a a, a corralled prison population. It's literally a prison planet uh, in Gaza's lifestyle. No water, no fuel, no electricity, no schools. Every building has to be removed from that place because it's been shot up with depleted uranium. So it's carcinogenic, the dust, the air. It was a genocide, folks. I don't care what anybody tells you. I researched it. And, and uh, what I'm telling you is fact. Go research it. it it's a genocide. And Israel gets a pat on the back from the U.S. and an extra $15 million a day every day, plus all the free depleted uranium ammunition they want. It's a genocide. Anyway, best wishes to you and yours. It's the political dead duck.